New travel protocols are being announced today because our goal is to prevent the spread of COVID-19 as out-of-state travel increases. Data monitored by MassDOT shows that there has been a gradual but steady increase in travel since March, both on our roads and at Logan Airport. We are seeing more people moving around, both within Massachusetts and from out of state. Earlier in July, traffic volumes measured at a series of key locations around the state were on average only 10 to 15 percent lower than corresponding 2019 volumes, far higher than back in April or May. At Logan Airport, the number of passengers passing through TSA checkpoints remains well below last year's levels, but has been rising steadily. The average number of daily checkout passengers doubled from around 3,300 3, in May to just over 7,000 in June and has nearly doubled again in the first three weeks of July to just over 12,000 people going through TSA checkpoints at Logan each day. Of the 200 to 300 arriving flights each day, there are on average 51 flights just from the three states of Florida, California, and Texas where COVID-19 cases and fatalities are on the rise. So as Governor Baker emphasized, Massachusetts residents are increasingly headed out to other states and travelers from other states are increasingly coming to Massachusetts. All such travelers have a responsibility to help the Commonwealth keep transmission levels as low as possible. Complying with the travel order is straightforward. Whether you are a Massachusetts resident returning from out of state travel or someone traveling here from other states, you will need to fill out a Massachusetts traveler form unless you are coming from a state that has been designated a lower risk COVID-19 state or fall into a narrow exemption category. We've made that easy to do either by going online to www.mass.gov slash mass traveler or texting mass traveler to 888-777. If you decide to come here, there's an online form to fill out with contact and other information so that the contact tracing collaborative can check in and make sure that you observe the 14 day quarantine. We need to make sure that Massachusetts residents thinking about heading out of state and people thinking about visiting Massachusetts know about the travel order. Therefore, MassDOT and MassPort, represented today by CEO Lisa Wieland, are launching a comprehensive campaign to educate travelers about the rules for travel, quarantine, and testing. MassDOT and MassPort are working together to ensure that travelers and potential travelers know about the travel order, including educating them between now and August 1st when it takes effect. Signs and electronic messages about the travel order will be going up at Logan and other airports, at South Station and other train stations, and at the South Station bus terminal beginning today and over the next week. Travelers at Logan Airport, South Station, and other travel terminals will soon hear announcements about the travel order. MassDOT and MassPort have reached out to airlines, bus companies, and Amtrak to get their cooperation in notifying those who use their websites and book travel with them about the Massachusetts travel order and to ask them to make announcements on planes and trains. Travelers on our highways and at rest areas will see electronic signs and signs at rest areas. The new travel protocols taking effect August 1st demonstrate that the Commonwealth is continuing to take COVID-19 seriously. We're simply asking those who visit our state and those residents who leave our state to act responsibly, just as we ask everyone here to be vigilant and responsible every day.